Mr. Musky, Walleye Bass. We got a fishing show. Okay, here we go. Woo! Hey guys, Big John here. Hey guys, Big John here. Yeah guys, it's uh, Friday, June 25th. Uh, 2021, pouring rain outside, just got home from work, and today, guys, I wanted to put together a little video for you is about something I'm really excited about, and fortunate that I've already got to try them this year, and they're on the market, and they're a hot bait, so, uh, I'm sure you guys seen it in my other video, uh, it's called the High Roller, made by Handlebars Musky Lures, it's a proven bait there, there's another proven bait. But uh, let's talk a little bit about these, and, and I'm not going to do the talking. Let's get uh, let's get Mike Parker from Handlebars on the phone and see what he's got to say about the new high roller. Let's call Mikey up. Okay, Mikey, we'll put him on speakerphone. I'm top the big so you can hear. Hey, John. Hey, Mikey. Big John here. How you doing? Oh, doing awesome, man. Doing awesome. How are you doing? Everything's good, buddy. So, uh, I got you on video here. I'm just doing a little video on your, your high roller that uh, uh, I've been fortunate enough to, to try already this year and uh, had a lot of success on it on our, our week's vacation there. And I, I know it's something new for you. Uh, so, um, yeah, I'm just going to play some uh, video footage of some of the fish that we got to enjoy on them this year and, and have you talk a little bit about them and uh, maybe what got you on to, to building the high roller. Uh, if you guys don't know Mike Parker, he's a, he's a great bait builder. He builds bucktails, he builds bump boards, and uh, I'm not going to do the talking. I'm going to let Mike do a little talking now. So. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot, John. I totally appreciate you calling, man, and... Uh... Hey, you and Chris, I know you guys uh, raised a lot of fish and got some nice ones on them already this year, and uh, uh, we're ecstatic because there's been a lot of fish caught on the high rollers this year all across the board, so it's uh, been awesome to have the season start off the way we were hoping it would for everybody that uh, got them in time for opener. Um, yeah, with the high rollers, uh, you know, we get a lot of uh, a lot of our customers and that uh, use our bucktail in and around weed beds and over top of weed beds, especially our, our double eights. And they love burning them across the uh, tops of the weeds. Well, with the high rollers, uh, right, right in the name is actually what the bait does. It rides up high and you can slow roll it. And that's how we come up with the, the final nail on high roller. It went through a whole bunch of different names to get there. But uh, yeah, I just uh, needed something for our customers that could do exactly what these do. And uh, it, didn't take long to develop. I was uh, working on our tantrum top waters, so I used the same bodies that our tantrum top waters are made from. And uh, yeah, I've just I made them with our uh, double eight and double ten blades, and uh, the high the actual high rollers that you guys have and that are going to be out all summer feature no weight. They weigh roughly around two point four ounces. They have uh, two of our size eight blades. And they're made for in and around uh, high weeds. You can cast them, and the blades start right away. So if you're casting right into weeds that are like a foot under the surface, yep. as long as you're cranking right away, those blades will open up, and they'll come right across the top. And as you've when, told what? me this, this year already, uh, one of the cool things you liked was you were reeling them in nice and slow, and then putting a pause when you get to a pocket and actually let it dive down into a pocket. And I'm like, I can't wait to get out and try that myself because I didn't even think about something like that. And uh, I don't think our pro staff guys that uh, were testing them last year, I don't think any of them had tried that last year. And uh, that's a very cool feature to uh, be able to take advantage of. Yeah, a few a few things I liked about them, Mike, is they're, they're really easy to throw and they're really easy to pull. Uh, and and uh, we had tough contention, uh, like... Me and my fishing partner, Chris, we have a, a week's vacation we take every year in the summer. And we fish for muskies here on the Detroit River. And this year, uh, the one battle that we had is the weeds uh, got to the surface really quick this year. Um, so 
uh, you know, there's a time for top water, but then there's a time when the weeds are too high and the top waters don't work. Um, but these high rollers, we were able to pull them right through. And uh, for some reason, they, they don't collect the weeds like a, like a top water would. It's just a, a real enjoyable bait to work. And like I say, um, we could pull through those pockets of weeds and then let it drop right back down again and, uh, and, and, and just start reeling. And the nice thing about, like, same as what Mike said, is when you, uh, when you cast out, you let these sink just an inch and, and start pulling and they, the, those blades start turning. And I think that's, uh, uh, probably because it's got the, the number eight blades on it, Mike, or... Uh, yeah, that and the uh, resistance from the body, it really, like that body, being in a bullet sheet how it is, it really cuts down the resistance of the water for when the bait's coming through, and it really makes it easy, and, and as you probably noticed, how much easier it is to pull those through the water than it is a regular set of double eights, like, you know, it's crazy, I just can't believe how easy it is to work, it's uh, almost like... Like a couple people that had them last year were saying it's like reeling in your leader. Like there's almost no resistance to them. It's just uh, pretty cool for a blade bait to come through the water with almost no resistance. Yeah, I mean now now I'm I'm so excited about them. I'm already uh, starting to plan some some new colors that your wife's getting really creative with with her painting and uh, and I know you've already been having them on all week and they they've been selling out uh, within minutes on on Facebook. So. Uh, I'm excited to get into to, to some of those colors too, and uh, yeah, like I say, just a real enjoyable bait to throw. And and Mike's a great guy, great bait builder. And uh, and Mike, what's the best way uh, for someone to to, to order these off you? Because I uh, I have to say, I mean, I've had a lot of comments uh, from our week's vacation there. Where do we get these high rollers, and what's the best way to order them? So uh, maybe we can nip that in the bud right now too, and and and. Uh, explain to people where to get them uh the the best way to get them will be um right now through our facebook page we'd love to be able to take orders but uh it, we took a few orders but there were so many people asking for so many specific things okay um we didn't want to get overwhelmed because we're so busy with um the rest of our family life and then just trying to uh, keep up with our other business yeah it's so a bu busy season for mike guys he's a He's not only a, a, a bait builder and a bump board builder, but he's also a guide. Uh, of course, this year, I mean, uh, there's a lot of struggles with uh, guiding in Ontario right now, but that should be back up and running full tilt here shortly. Um, but yeah, so. Yeah, de yeah definitely. That, uh, that kind of has put a wrench in the program this year. And uh, I totally appreciate you taking the time to... Uh, uh, let everybody know about him, John. That, that's awesome. We well, Mike, um, you know, I, 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 you guys all know I've been making videos for years. And uh, in all my videos, there's so many great bait builders. I, I mean, there, there's not just you. There's so many great build, bait builders around. And, and when I have something that works, I like to mention it, you know, um, so other people can enjoy it too. Um, now, like our vacation... Uh, we, we were off for a week, and like I said, there were really tough conditions this year with the river being low, and uh, we just really, it was a tough bite, uh, but I would like to say that the high roller caught three quarters of our fish that week, so um, yeah, it's, uh, and, and I never owned, a, I never touched a high roller uh, before this uh, opening week, so yeah. Um, yeah, I kind of fell in love with it quickly, and uh, I look forward to, to. I mean, there's a time of time of year for every bait, and uh, these uh, I don't know, man. They're these just seem to work very well. I'm I'm excited to to even do some summer fishing with them too. You know. Uh, oh yeah, they they rocked all last summer for our guys, and uh, we have another version, uh, uh, trolling version of your prototype last fall, and. Uh, we got some nice fish, including a uh, tanker uh, 54 inch on it. So wow. we're we're not totally. Uh, or I should say we. I'm not totally happy yet. Like it's 99 percent where I want it to be. There's just a couple little tweaks that I needed to do to it, and uh, so I just finished making a dozen more of those, and uh, they're going to be going into the boxes of some of our uh, promotional staff guys that 
do a fair bit of trolling and yep. you know, as long as, as long as things work out uh, the next month then uh, I'm hoping maybe August or September uh, we'll have those out and, but for the high rollers it was crazy like you don't get a home run out of the out of the start but that one there was just one of those rare flukes that right out of the box was uh it worked perfect right right away so wow we're ecstatic with that well uh uh a 54 inch fish uh is something that me and chris haven't caught yet so hopefully that uh the high roller will do that for us <laughs> i mean uh, uh if you can catch uh, fish of that magnitude with it it's just you know it really says something uh for for your bait and uh, i really appreciate your time mike uh, I'm gonna put it up. I got uh, I got a few pictures I, I grabbed from you there and uh, of your baits and and you and uh, I'm gonna throw those up there and I also uh, got some video footage of the high roller in action. Um, I really appreciate it, Mike. Oh, awesome, John. Thanks a lot. I totally appreciate you doing that. And uh, yeah, you know it's awesome to watch Big John here or Chris John here. <laughs> who you're with for the day? And you know what you. I get so many comments when we share your stuff about your laugh, your just your character, just who you are. So it's awesome to have uh, you know somebody else like a John Candy type person out, our, out there on the river and just enjoying life and fishing how it should be. Getting out there and you know what, even even if it's the crappiest day and you spill chocolate milk all over the carpet, yep, you still make light of the day. Well, and that, that's where yeah. that that was my that was my goal in life. You know, I. Back in the day, I used to tournament fish, and it was so serious at times. And uh, there came a time when I said, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are we doing here? We're fishing for, we're fishing for plaques and four hundred dollars and and uh, and winnings. Uh, it doesn't have to be this serious." And then, and that's that's when I decided that I wanted to make fishing fun again, and uh, just fish for everything, you know. Uh, so I got, I got, I kind of got out of the bass fishing a little bit and went back to, to walleye and, and muskie, something that we just started five years ago, me and Chris. So uh, that's that's new to us. Thanks, Mike. Hey, thanks a lot, John. No, that was awesome.